Today I'd like to walk you through the M27500 page on our website. This page can be a little overwhelming since there's so many options, but the key to this page is this box. Its purpose is to explain each component of the part number and take you to information which details available options. Just remember that if you're choosing viable options for each individual component, you might not get an overall valid part number, but if you need to talk about that, a Wiremasters account executive can walk you through it if you need them to. You can also find all of this information in our catalog, which you can download here. All right, so each one of these blue boxes in this diagram is clickable, and if you click there, it will take you to the table that explains what options you have. The white boxes aren't clickable since they represent gauge as well as the number of conductors. I'll start with this box first. Most commonly it has a dash in it, which a lot of people think is just punctuation, but it's not. If you click here and go to the table, you can see that there's over 20 options to pick from for just this one box. In the table, you can determine the percentage of shielding coverage, as well as the color code for the inner conductors. Beside the character, you'll notice this phrase, which references tables A1 through A4 about specific color coding methods. And if you scroll down a little bit, you'll see those tables here. Click in the back to top link, then I'll click on the base wire specification. That'll take you to a table that defines the inner conductors by mil spec. This side over here is sorted by alphabetically by the code that goes into the part number. And over on this side, it's sorted sequentially based on the mil spec number. Back to top again and select shield type. Notice this table also provides for single and double shielding and dictates the type of shielding uh, for the material to be used right here. Back to the top again and select outer jacket material. This table also provides for single and double jacketing options and its material types are right here. Once you know the types of inner conductors for your cable, you can move over to this part of the page and select the corresponding link. From there, that'll take you to a dynamic grid and then you can use filters to select the shield, color code, conductor count, and so forth right here. Many times I'll find that if you just pick the gauge and number of conductors, then that'll cut this down to a more manageable list. Right now it's 217. By picking 20 gauge and three conductor, like the example on the page, then you'll see that, th that we have about seven options. Oh, also keep in mind that if you need to pick multiple options within each one of these filters, that's certainly okay. Once those selections are made and you want to see more about the product, just click the link and that'll take you to a details page. If that isn't what you're looking for, just go back and keep searching. Or if you want to go all the way back to the M27500 page, just click here on the breadcrumbs to get there quickly.